Hello Reformers, and welcome back to Warsword Conquest. Now, when we left off, we were at Kofur, I do believe. Yes, Castle Kofur. It's been a little in-game days since that time. And I have traveled back to Bloodhorn, of course. Now, I'm actually just taking a look at our weekly budget here, because it's obviously just popped up and given us our wages for this week. And I'm a little bit puzzled by something in particular. I wonder what you can actually see here, because... Yeah, De Karak Asgal. Minus 107. I must have no units there whatsoever. That really needs to change, otherwise we're going to have great deals of difficulty if the Kingdom of Araby, or indeed the remaining Badland Goblins vassals, decide to strike at the heart of our territory, which would not be great, because Bloodhorn, that actually has 300 and something units in the garrison there to defend it. So, yes, having no units to defend Asgal is probably not the greatest idea ever, is it? No, not at all. So, there it is. Net change is in the positive for 2,236, which is very nice indeed. That brings us up to 8,400. Excellent. So as you can see here, we are at Bloodhorn. I was waiting here just for a little bit, just so I could rejuvenate Bjorg, because he does take a long time to rejuvenate. And of course, I was hoping that these fellows here would all level up into higher level units. So without further ado, we're going to be heading into the castle. And we're actually going to see... If there are any units here that we can accept. Now, I do know that we have, yes, we have an orc, I do believe, which I would really like to accept. So I think we will be doing that in just a second. And Lord Ugly Lard, I'm not entirely sure. Do we want to take him or do we not want to take him? I do not know about that at the moment. So let us indict a disloyal vassal. And we're going to be indicting Tilimsan, I do believe. Issue the indictment. There we have it. Okay, so let's have a look. Lord Ugly Lard actually likes us quite a bit, so I think we're going to be getting him. And Lord Nazgud does not really like us now that we've indicted this guy, but I think he should like us once we have taken him as a vassal. I do believe we will be doing it. Yes, let's accept that guy, and we'll accept that guy. He's only minus three, which I don't think is too bad. Now, I wish us to grant Teef Snatchers to Lord Ugly Lard. And that means Corin has gone down, and Toxicotl has gone down as well, as well as Nazgud. Hmm, I was thinking that the Goblins and the Orc might work together, but it appears that is not going to be the case this time. And I want to give, let's see, Rusty Daggers to Lord Nazgud, and that will then improve. Oh, see, that is rather strange, is it not? Look at that. Lord Ugly Lard does not go down in relation when I give Thiefs to Lord Nazgud, but it does actually work that way the other way around so a mm, little bit of a shame right there but what we're going to be doing is replacing ourselves as marshal as one of you stated in the comments that it might be a good idea to do just that and we're going to give it to lord toxicotl because he is amazing and i do believe he requires that and wait a minute lord grom i don't actually know whether lord grom likes us or not so i'm going to be leaving him for now because i don't want to take on too many at once and let's just get that done. That is fine. Thank you very much. I'm just going to check to see if I can buy any better armor here. Now, these are very expensive, but as you can see here, we already have some very nice armor. I'm hoping for a better helmet, to be honest, because the helm that we're using right now is basically just leaving us completely vulnerable to any headshot that would come our way. So, hopefully, we can try and, mm, yeah, try and avoid that. But yes, as we see here, we actually do have a couple of companions, but at the moment I do believe we are okay on companions, unless they were going to become vassals, of course. But yes, at the moment I do believe this small contingent of companions is going to be very, very powerful indeed as time goes on. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to head back to Kingdom of Araby lands, or are we going to head into our castle and speak to Felix for a very important thing indeed? I did neglect to do this. And so, let us dispatch an emissary to High King Cetra of the Tomb Kings, and we are going to be... Oh. Does that not work? That I wish to express my goodwill as mon monarch to another. I really wanted just to get a peace agreement or something with him, an alliance maybe, eventually. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that. And we'll send a Keti because he is the expendable one. I mean, he is the one that has 
Better persuasion? <laughs> I have actually no idea. So, yeah, he's just going to go off and do that. And we will then be making our way back to the Kingdom of Araby. I do believe that El Shamab Fortress might actually be a good idea, but I really want to cut off their supply lines at Martek. So we're going to be heading back there. And I do need to make sure that we're moving with a pretty reasonable force at the moment as well, because obviously we need to be as powerful as we can be in this particular situation. Now, let's just... Oh, Emir Diol of the Kingdom of Araby has escaped. That's unfortunate. Really did not want any of them to escape right now until, obviously, the ransom came through. Ah, okay. Well, what can you do, I suppose? Now, it does appear as though... Oh! No! Oh, that's bad. That is very bad. Look at that. Martek has been besieged by Tomb Lord Hamezan. That is not good. Oh, okay, well, maybe I can lend a hand with this, even though I really don't want this to happen, because Martek, in my opinion, should be ours. It should be under the rightful claim of us. And, aha, here we go. Aha, there we go. I would say High King Cetra wishes to be at peace with Rattlob Big Biter, so as to pursue the war against the Kingdom of Araby. In his letter, merely refers to you as... Oh, okay... This does not constitute recognition of your right to rule. That's not too good. So that means that he could be causing any kind of conflict against us very, very soon indeed. That is going to be quite worrying until that thing actually occurs. Hmm, that's not too good. Okay. Well, the only thing we can do is be as prepared as possible, of course. And by doing that, we are, of course, going to be making as many units as we can. Hopefully the War Academy at Asgal is going to be done soon, because otherwise it's going to be completely defenseless, because I'm so lazy at garrisoning a defense there, apparently. Uh, that really needs to change. Now, we do have a lot of Araby... Aha! Here we go, thank goodness. So Martek has actually been stopped, or shall we say the Siege of Martek, so we might be able to sneak in here. Never mind. Yeah. We'll just leave the Tomb Lords to do that because there are so many units there. There's about 430 Araby units, and I believe we'll move on to Lashiek instead. Let's just take a look and see how many units they actually have here. Now, ooh, who is that? Oh, that's Emir Diul. Hello. Oh, and there's Sultan Jafar as well. Oh, well, that's not too good. Wait a minute, let's take a look at how many he actually has. He has slave guards, janissaries, he has seven sand wraiths. That's the main thing that I'm a little bit afraid of right there. Everything else is pretty easy to deal with, I'd say. Actually, not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Wow, okay, I was not expecting the leader of the Kingdom of Araby to have such a... Well, I don't want to say small force, because it's not really small, but to have such a diminished force? I don't want to be insulting either. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever the case, we are going to be constructing some ladders here, and we'll see whether... Really? More Badland Goblins? I cannot believe it. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, thankfully enough, we were able to build the ladders before nightfall, so at least we have the daylight on our side, and we are now going to be leading our soldiers in an assault. So let's just take a look. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Okay. We'll do our best. We'll do our very best. We need to make sure that our medic is in a really, really good position. Otherwise, we are just going to be losing too many units. Way too many units. And I do believe our archers will want to go here. Because this is going to provide them with the best. And I say, again, the best vantage point to take on any of these units right here. However, because of the closeness of the walls and indeed the ladders and where we spawn in it is going to cause us a great deal of pain so unless i can take out some of these guys right here maybe with some headshots maybe without any headshots <laughs> we'll see what we can do come on take out that guy as well oh we need to take out that guy he's got a hand crossbow oh lovely headshot right there very nice Okay, so, as you can probably see, so far, our Master of Arrows, our Forest Walkers, and, of course, our Bretonian Lords Huntsmen and Dwarf Rangers, they are bombarding the enemy's defenses. And I do believe we will be very, very lucky indeed if we are able to pull off a victory here. Now, I'm wondering, should I tell our units, should I tell our infantry to charge in here? Because if I do, 
we're most likely going to be seeing quite a few more casualties than we would have liked. Aren't we? I have a bad feeling about this guy as well. No. Oh. Okay. Yes, that's what you get. Oh, lovely headshot as well. Very nice. Maybe I can headshot this guy too. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Take out that guy as well. And maybe we can skim past. Yeah, look at that. Took out that Janissary. Very nice. So, let's see what we can do. Let's charge in our infantry. We've taken out 116. 116 of their units already. Whoa, okay. I was not expecting that. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Okay, I am being bombarded as well from... Uh, from the side. Okay. Yes, that's your own fault, Master at Arms. It's your own fault for getting in my way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I don't actually want to get taken out here. So what I'm going to actually do is I am going to retreat. There we are. Thank you very much. Yes, I am going to re be retreating here. And... Let's see, we lost 16 units, and what did we lose? We lost some Skeleton Knights, which are definitely quite painful to lose. We lost some Tomb Champions, that's quite painful. A Mummy, that's okay. Dwarven Ranger, didn't really want to lose any of those. Forest Walkers, they are definitely things that we don't want to lose in this particular encounter. 131, 131, that's actually pretty decent. However, now I'm a little bit worried that Sultan Jafar will think it's a good idea to interrupt us, because of course we are weakened. However, if he decides to go over to Kofur, or maybe... Oh, what's going on here? Lord Shackwipes has renounced his allegiance to the Badland Goblins. Excellent, we like to see that. Now, as I was saying, if he decides to defend Lashiek, or if he decides to go over to Martek and defend that, then we will have an amazing opportunity right here, and we'll be able to take this for free, basically. Well, we are losing quite a few of our units, I must admit, but it is actually going better than I imagined so far. I really thought that Sultan Jafar would decide to... Ah, here he is. He's turned up, but he doesn't decide to do anything. Aha. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's actually not too bad. That's fine. That is completely fine. Oh, wait a minute. We have Lord Nazgud, and we have Lord Toxicotl right beside us right here, and they are, no doubt, going to be raiding that village very soon, and maybe, because Lord Toxicotl is our marshal, he might decide to tell Lord Nazgud to follow him, and to take El Shamab Fortress. Now that would be a spectacular sight indeed, and hopefully, we'll be around to witness it, and we won't be in some sort of dungeon of Sultan Jafar's, that would be... Atrocious. <laughs> Let's hope that that does not become a reality, but you never know. Yes, they have proven to be quite resourceful in the past. And I do believe we are ready to now head in and build our ladders once again. And yes, Chief Clobberbottom, you are quite the irritant, are you not? Yes, you are. Ah, okay. Well, whatever the case, we have built our ladders, and Lashiek will be ours in, I do believe, two more sieges if we are not able to make good use of them right now. So let's get Oggy Boggy there and get all of our archers up here. Now, the one thing that I don't want to happen is I don't want to get taken out immediately, because if I get taken out immediately, then I'm not able to inflict casualties upon them, and of course I'm not able to order our units around very easily at all. So if we can actually do this, this would be wonderful. Come on, let's just interrupt them. That's all I want to do. Yeah, look at that. We took down one of them by shooting him off the ledge right there. That is excellent. Very, very nice to see that indeed. And a nice headshot to go along with it. Why not? That's great. Okay, now, thankfully enough, our units are amazing. And they are doing a huge amount of damage so far. Now, I will want to move our infantry a little bit closer. Just so that the archers have some more space to fully get their accuracy going. There we are, move them a little bit forward too. And it appears that we only have some infantry with shields to deal with. Oh my goodness, really? Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. There we are, took out one of their Corsairs as well. Destroyed that guy's shield. Ooh, lovely. Another headshot right there. Good. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what this Skink Stalker is doing. Does he have throwing weapons? It appears he may have had throwing weapons. That's why he's classified as an archer, perhaps. But yes, at the moment he's not really doing too much to further our war effort right here. But yes, I think we can forgive him for this particular situation. Not too bad, I gotta say. We are seeming to do relatively nicely. And wait a minute, who am I being shot by? Am I being shot by anyone? No. 
Oh, hello. Okay, maybe these guys. Yes. Look in the most obvious position. That might be an idea. Why is this guy always getting shot in the shoulder? Did you see that? He had like six or seven arrows in his left shoulder right there. That was rather impressive. Okay. Well, whatever the case, I am going to be attempting to take out all the fellows without shields. And if I can, I would like to be able to thin their ranks rather considerably when we decide to attack. Okay. Hmm. Unsure about this. Ow. Ow. No. How dare you. Okay, wait a second. There we are. Very nice. Okay, we need to take out these guys with the spears. I think they are the ones that are going to cause us the greatest deal of difficulty. Because, of course, they can hit us from further away than we can hit them, by the looks of things. And very easily interrupt our abilities. So, are our archers killing any more of them? It doesn't appear as though that is the case. Shall we send our infantry units in? Have we taken out many of their really difficult-to-kill units so far? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we need to continue killing them a little bit more, and then we'll see. But it appears actually not bad. We are starting to penetrate their lines, which is not bad at all. But, of course, we are taking some fleeting damage. Okay. Yeah, take out that guy. Corsair Captain? Where is the Corsair Captain right here? I need to ask you, where is the Corsair Captain? I don't see anyone with a ranged attack. Oh, wait a minute. It might have been this guy right here. Maybe it was that guy. Okay, well, whatever the case, that appears to be an Araby assassin, but yes, whatever the case, another 117 taken out. A very nice number indeed. And hopefully, they will still not see fit to interrupt us before we are able to rejuvenate fully. There is a Tomb King over there. Which is actually giving us a great deal of breathing room, which is excellent so far. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Okay, so wait a minute. He's actually after us now. What changed his mind? What changed his mind? We still have the same exact force that we had previously, as far as I can tell. Strange. Very strange. Maybe it's because most of our companions are wounded? Maybe that's it. But whatever the case, we're just going to be getting Lord Toxicotl to come and help us. Of course, he is already following. And, oh, wait a minute. I'm not the marshal anymore. I'm not the marshal anymore. That's not good. Will you follow me? I'm sorry. I need to attend my own business at the moment. No! Oh, dear. Not the marshal anymore. Okay, well, hopefully he will just do enough to... Uh, yes... Chase this guy off, hopefully. Hey, maybe I can ask Lord Nazgood to follow me as well? Okay. May I suggest, will you follow me? All right, I will do that. Yeah, Lord Nazgood. You're my new favorite vassal now. Oh, my goodness. Now he's going in there to go and help the Tomb King. Well, understandable, I suppose. And he's now joining the battle on our side as well when it comes to sieging Lashiak. So we'll see some of the higher level orc units, maybe? If he's got some orc units, that is. I do believe he is going to be using goblin units instead, so maybe that will not be the case this time around. But here we go. Let's do it. What we want to do is get everyone at the front here. Same exact tactic, I do believe, is going to be quite effective. And, of course, we do need to get our medic in a really good position as well. Make sure he doesn't die too much. Okay, now, a lot of savage orcs are dying so far. I hope this is not going to cause... Lord Nazgood to have a diminished strength when it comes to fighting on the fields of battle, that would actually be quite disappointing to me because I want all of our vassals to be incredibly powerful, of course. Okay, well, at the moment it does appear as though our archers are able to do a significant amount. So I suppose that is all working very, very nicely. Okay, come on. Keep bombarding them. Keep bombarding them. That's all we want to do. We need to make sure that they know that we are prepared to head in here hard and fast and make sure that we don't take any casualties and any damage. Ah, of course. Okay, well, these guys hopefully will be so irritated by my 
constant badgering of their front lines that they will decide to... Right. <laughs> that they will decide to stand at the front and be taken out over and over by our incredible archery units. Look at the archery. Whoa. Look at all of these arrows streaming into our opponents right here. A very nice sight to see indeed. Now, the only unfortunate thing is that Warsword Conquest, as a mod, does not allow you to order your units after you are dead, and it doesn't also allow you to have a look at the orders menu. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but it's just one of those things, and so I am unable to see how many units we've actually taken out so far. I don't believe we've taken out too many, which is, well, quite frustrating, but I suppose that is the way of things when you are sieging such a large thief. And maybe I should have told our infantry to charge in. It's just the fact that we have so many Sultan's Guards remaining. As you can see here, these guys right here with the huge battle axes, they are the Sultan's Guards, and I'm a little bit worried about them. So, okay. It appears another retreat will be in order. And I'm not sure if you can see in the distance over there, but we do have Toxicotl raiding one of their villages, which is uh, rather nice to see, I have to say, but... Oh, no! Lord Nazgood, come back! Yes! You came back just in time. Excellent. Okay, so, do we actually want to do it right now? I suppose we could. We could just lead our soldiers in an assault right now, but we are going to be quite injured as a result, but our archers will have a full complement of arrows again, so I think that should be fine. Let's make sure that our medic is in a good position. Archers as well. Now... I won't be as foolhardy as I was beforehand, and I will use a little bit more tact this time, and I will decide to use our bow a little bit more. That seems like a good idea anyway. It seems like it's going to get us a few more kills, and probably thin out the enemy's defenses a little bit more as well. Because heading up there with our ball and chain, even though it is incredibly fun, and I do really enjoy doing it, it is not necessarily the safest plan. And it doesn't help to have the sun in my eyes, but of course I was able to headshot a Mamluk for some reason, while not being able to see. Well, that's rather impressive, if I do say so myself. There we are, there's another headshot. <laughs> Apparently, I am better when I can't see anything, but that is obviously just luck, complete luck right there. And, yeah, we just appear to be thinning out their ranks very, very nicely indeed. So, let's take a look here. How many do they have left? Well, they have 97, 96 now. And we've taken out 28 already, and we've only lost one unit to unconsciousness. Oh, actually, to death. So, that's a little bit unfortunate. But I would say that we're pretty well off right now. Come on, take out the Mamluks. These guys are going to be very, very devastating to our ranks if we let them live. Okay, there's nothing else around here, so I should be okay to head up. Maybe. Or maybe not. Yeah, we are. That's what you get. Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. Okay, so wait a minute. What do we want to do? Should we just charge in? We have orcs on our side. Surely orcs are going to be doing a huge amount of damage in comparison to our goblin units, but... We'll see, won't we? We'll see. I don't have a good feeling about these savage orcs, however. I have a bad feeling about them. I think that they are probably going to be dying very, very quickly indeed, which is not great. So I'm going to try and assist them as much as I can. But bear in mind that I'm not able to really defend that well. And I might actually end up dying a little bit faster than I would have if I had stayed as an archery unit. So let's just see what we can do here. We do seem to be inflicting a lot of damage upon them, which is great. But now all of their two-handed units are coming in, and I'm a little bit worried about them. Yeah, come on, take them down, take them down. These Corsair units, yep, Corsair Captain, for example, they have some very mighty two-handed swords, and they're able to do a huge amount of damage to us quite easily, I have to admit. So let's just see here. Are we actually going to win? New enemies have arrived, but only three. So I have a feeling that this is the last remaining amount of units that they have in the garrison, which is very, very nice. So, we could potentially ask them for a surrender. 
And they might do that. They might agree to those terms. Because I don't really want to lose any more units, so I am going to be retreating once again, and we'll see. Call for a meeting with the castle commander. No, they're not doing that. Okay. Well, how many units do they have? Do they really only have 19? Okay. Well, there's 295 prisoners, which is the main reason why I wanted to do this. So, let's just build ladders once again. I don't want to lose the claim to this, that's for sure. And we're only gaining 623 gold per week now. I wonder what happened with that. Something must have been raided. That's a little bit unfortunate. So, lead our soldiers against 19 units and let our archers kill them all in under 5 seconds, I suppose, is the plan we will instigate here. Now, let's just make sure that we actually get a couple of kills as well. Oh, lovely headshot. Look at that. Okay. Wow. I was not expecting that. Now, let's try not to headshot some of our own units as well, if we can help it. That would be nice. Now, we do have a troll here. We actually have two trolls in our infantry line this time around. So I suppose we could, if we wanted to, decide to charge in, which might be an idea. Maybe. We do need to take out this Mamluk, though. Oh, yes, there we are. Thank you very much. Look at the arrows. Look at the amount of arrows. It is insane. Okay, so we do have some Mamluks here, but they are being absolutely exterminated right now. Yeah. Yeah. Quite easily, in fact. Okay, take out that Sultan's Guard. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh my goodness. I would have an infinite supply of arrows right here. Look at this. I, we have 43 right now, yeah? So. Yep. Okay. We're still getting more. Yep, we're still getting more, and we're back up to full, so let's just continue to shoot, I suppose. Oh! There we go! We did it! Oh, wow, I didn't even need to do anything. Okay, that's rather impressive. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we took out the 19 units, and hopefully we'll be able to take some of them prisoner, but this guy has a good personality, and maybe if the Kingdom of Araby are deciding to, well, dissolve themselves, if... That is even indeed possible, considering what's happened with the Badland Goblin so far. Then I suppose we will let him go. And we freed Tomb Lord Bilia as well, so that will improve our relation with the Tomb Kings. There we have it. So, this is where it gets fun. Well, this is where it gets even more fun, shall we say. Tomb Champions, Skeleton Knights, Mummies, and various other units that... Whoa, okay. Mercenary Ogre, thank you very much. Bear Man of Urslo. Is it Urslo? Yeah, Urslo. And we have some Dark Elf Executioners, Black Guards, Janissaries, Chief Bodyguards, thank you very much. We got some long beards. This is where having a huge army capacity does come in handy because obviously we wouldn't be able to take all of these otherwise. Let's take all of the goblin units that we can. And then, of course, we will be. Ooh, Dwarven Thunderer. That's pretty nice. And then we will, of course, be taking the rest of these things here. Now, I do want to leave some of these for our friend for helping us out, Lord Nazgud. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. I'm just making sure that we take everything that we require to be able to defend this and maybe even to hold on to it for quite a while, dependent on, obviously, what the... Sultan decides to do. But at the moment, I think we're quite well off. What else do we want to take here? Skeletal warriors, I suppose? Master at arms? Tomb guards? Goodness me, they have a lot of units from the Tomb King's Empire, that's for sure. They've been at war with them for quite some time, so I suppose that is understandable. Now, let's see here. Okay, so these guys, they can be released and we can get some Tomb King guards. So, we will let the rest of them join Lord Nazgud. And, where are we going to be putting this? I do believe we'll have Lashiek for ourselves, but I am going to be deferring appointment of a Lord so that we can potentially lure over some other vassals to join us. That would be quite nice, to say the least. So, let us wait here for some time. Lord Nazgud's gone in to go and help that Tomb King against the Kingdom of Araby, and now I will, of course, be telling him, Aha! I followed your suggestion and profited much by your advice. Thank you very much. And now I will be, of course, telling him to 
yes, you no longer need to accompany me. Thank you very much. And, yeah, he's now got eight relation with us. I do believe, considering he helped us, I am going to be giving him something better in the future. I will be giving him a castle and maybe one of our other castles in Goblin Lands. But I think in the next episode of Warsword Conquest, if we are able to take El Shamab Fortress, then I think I will probably be awarding him that. I think that's going to be a very nice thing to do indeed. And without further ado, he has... 181 units now, thanks to, obviously, all of those prisoners. Even though some of them might not be that good, they are going to be leveling up into some very, very powerful units indeed. Or at least I hope that will be the case. So, without further ado, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.